Welcome team to the new Foundations of Reading 190, 62 and 293 reading course. This is actually a, a brand new course. Um, the content that you're gonna see in this section and in, this, in these videos is brand new. I'd say I'd say 90% of it is brand new. It's It's been totally reworked. And I thought I'd take a moment and I'd talk about some of the new elements of this class, okay? So first, it truly is a, a this, this course that you're taking is a national course. We are pulling, these are all Pearson exams, but we're pulling from the best of the best in the East and the West and the South. We're pulling ideas from all of these exams, which overlap each other. So if you're taking any of these exams here, they all overlap. All these exams, okay, for my foundations of reading and science of teaching reading and RECA teachers, they all overlap. They're all going to cover the same concepts. And what we've done is we've analyzed these exams and we've kind of put them into this course. Okay. And I think this is going to be so helpful for you because a lot of times there's stuff on the RECA that ends up on this test and there's stuff on this test that ends up all over the place. So you have to realize that this is why we're going to take a broader perspective now. And we're going to look at this test and look and focus on the best questions to cover these core concepts because they all um, cover phonological and phonemic awareness, concepts of print, phonics, fluency, word identification, vocabulary, reading instruction, assessment. They all cover these core ideas. Now, you may be asking, well, uh, I'm only taking uh, this test here. Why do I need to get ready for this test here? You don't. This course has been differentiated, meaning that there is stuff for different groups of teachers. What I would say is this, as you go through this course, understand the color coding and know, know which type of teacher you are. So for example, if you are just starting out with this, brand new, brand new, I want you to do this stuff in black, okay? And, and this would be the six hours of content that I think, you know, um, every beginner teacher should should take a look at, okay? And you may want to start just do the stuff in black first for the beginner teachers. Just get that out of the way. It's going to help you with the vocabulary, okay? And the big picture ideas. Um, if you have taken any of these exams and you, you're you're new to the exams, but you're, you know, you've taken them a couple times, then you want to do the black and green. This is going to be about nine hours of content, maybe nine to 10 hours of content. And so black and green would be for that teacher that, you know, uh, that foundations of reading teacher or that that science of teaching, science of teaching reading teacher, teacher that wants, or RECA teacher that, you know, uh, wants a really good study for the exam. Okay, black and green videos are gonna give you a really good study of all these core concepts. Some of them are gonna be challenging, some of them are gonna be easy but it's gonna give you that, that nice mix of questions, okay? If you're a reading specialist or you just want a, a super duper challenge, then I want you to add in the pink. The pink's gonna bring this up to probably around a 12 to 16 hour class, okay? So adding in the pink would be for that more advanced teacher, that reading specialist. So, so know yourself here, team. Are you just starting out and just need to do the black? Are you, have you taken this test a few times and you want to add on black and green and get a really good overview of all the concepts and scenarios? Or are you that teacher out there that's ready for a challenge and you want to add in that pink, those extra hard problems? I, have, I put everything here for you, team, because I thought there are going to be teachers in this room that are beginner teachers that are going to want to do everything, honestly. And then I also thought that, you know, I'd put it here. So there might be reading specialist teachers that are like, I don't want to do this. I just want to do this and this. So you're going to get to decide what you want to do. I just want you to understand how the color coding works, okay? When you go to this page here and you press on this link and type in the passcode, it's going to bring you to that reading page, that Go Reading page. And you're going to see something like this. Know that um, um, these are the colors here. So here's the, the stuff in black. This is for This is really for everyone, but Definitely for that beginner reader. I think I said everyone because I think everyone doing the course should do the stuff, the, the videos in black. Okay. I think you should actually do this stuff in black. And then if you're a beginner teacher, add on green. Okay. And 
Um, if you're an advanced teacher, you should add on pink, okay? But you get to decide how much you want to do, okay? Everyone has to do the black. If that's all you do, make sure you do black. Um, if you want more, add on black and green. And if you're ready for the really hard stuff, add on the advanced stuff, okay? And I think you'll get a lot out of this stuff. When you click on these, you're going to be sent to modules that go through this stuff, videos that go through this stuff. Do me a favor, make sure you read the questions first. And, and do me a favor, if you find the videos helpful, the modules helpful, give it a big thumbs up or, or like it, like the videos. This is going to help us. We, 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 I'm, I've given you everything. And this is going to help us navigate which stuff is the best stuff to include on future classes. So for this particular group here, you could really help Grow Academy by just letting, letting us know if it's helpful or not. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Okay, that will help help us navigate. And next time we do this class, we might have to cut out a couple of sections. But if you find the video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and that'll make a big difference. Okay, team? All right, a couple of other things in this quick intro, um, which is, uh, let's just, might not be that quick, but, but I'm almost done, about five more minutes, is that um, <clears throat> this is no longer a three-day class. It's a 30-day class. We are, we are multiplying this by 10 to give you 30 days. And the content that we would have done in three days, and I know that sounds great. Some teachers are listening to me now and they're like, I wish it was three days. Do you really? Because we're covering the same content in this class. All we've done is we've spread it out a little bit. Now you could still go through this content if you needed to in three days. I mean, if you really needed to, if you were really in a jam and you only had three days to do it, you just do the stuff in black. And you get through it in three days. I mean, it's only like six hours of content, but you could do it, okay? But what we're hoping is with the 30 days, now you, you, you have more time to add on what you want to add on, okay? So this gives you a lot more time to go through content, okay? So you're, not everyone's gonna do the full 16 hour class, but if you do the black and green, you're gonna have a solid nine to 10 hours of content, okay? Some teachers will decide to do the whole thing. They'll add in the pink and then they'll be closer to a 16 hour class. But if you do the black and green, it'll be about nine to 10 hours. Understand that this is, uh, it's not fast paced. It's the opposite of that. You decide the pace. You want to go fast, speed through the videos, you can. You want to skip videos, you can. You'd be like, I know this, done. I don't need to do this, done. You decide. You decide your pace. That's the great thing about these classes is that you get to decide what you want to do and how much time you want to work it. And it's it's not live, but that live, on, honestly, team, in the three-hour class, we would do the essays on hour number five. Hour five of being online would, would be when we'd get to the essays the most important sections of the class. And teachers would be like this. <laughs> my brain, I think my, my iris is burned. I lost my eyes, right? Because you're looking at the computer for five hours. Live is very misleading with a webinar. But now you get to have your own flexibility in going through this stuff. And I just think that this new format, it's gonna it's gonna allow us to do more content. Um, it's gonna allow you to, to um, Give you more time to do it at your own pace you're going to be able to sift through this stuff and decide what you want to focus on and not okay so so really team you get to decide how much time you want to put in it i'll say this one more time because there's different teachers out there and sometimes you know where we, we we see something and we just want to do it all but you really got to decide where you are with this okay where are you in these colors here are you ready to run a marathon because if you're ready to run a marathon, then you're going to do it all. But that there's only a couple of teachers in this room that are really ready for all of it. I would say the majority of teachers here are probably going to do the black and the green. Okay. And that's going to be a very good preparation for you. If you're brand new, you're not an experienced runner, just starting out, just do the stuff in black. You will come away with a, with a review of the major ideas and vocabulary and the essays. Okay. You will. Just the black will do it. Um, if you want more, you can, but you decide how long you want to spend on this class, okay? And that's going to be different for every teacher here. How about this question here? Um, how much time should I do a day? 
Uh, I think I think you should do at least 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes to an hour a day. Um, if you did 30 minutes to an hour a day over the course of a month, you'd be done. Okay, 30 minutes a day over 30 days is 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 the 15 hours, or um, or almost 16 hours. An hour a day would probably be better. That means you'd be able to go go through this twice. Okay, but I think you know we were talking about this. The class used to be three days to go through the nine hours. Okay, so now you have 30 days to go through the nine hours. It may be a little bit more detailed, but you can self-pace here, okay? But but it's 10 times as much time to, to do this. So so find a schedule, just like you would if you're running. You'd have to, if you're gonna run a marathon, you're gonna have to train. You're gonna have to build in a schedule to finish this thing. So try and fit in, how long should you do a day? Try and train at least 30 minutes to an hour a day. I think that's a good training schedule and you'll get through this stuff no problem before your test, okay? And and don't feel rushed to test. This class is, you have 30 days to go through this stuff, okay? So you're, you're starting on a Saturday. By the way, if you're watching this video, you can start now. You can go and start the course right now as soon as you see this video. But technically you're starting on a Saturday and you're ending 30 days later on a Monday. So team, if you're, you have 30 days, there should be no rush in testing. Um, so, so teachers out there that are scheduled to test on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you don't have to do that. Um, but uh, if, you, if you were gonna do that, then obviously you would focus on the videos in black first, right? If you only had two days to study, you'd watch the stuff in black first, okay? And then you test. And then teachers that are testing in a month or two or three, understand that the class is 30 days. That's the structure of the class. And so what 30 days means is it's over in 30 days. Uh, that means your, 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 the video recordings are done in 30 days. And you have to understand that. This is for every group of teachers, okay? Go Academies, we're, we're, we're increasing the time on the videos for 10, 10 times, from three days to 30 days. And this is for everyone. So understand that it's 30 days to go through this stuff. So you got to find a time to work through it. At least at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum over 30 days, you could do the stuff in black. Team, that's about six hours of content. I think that's pretty fair. Okay. Now you may want to do more, but the class ends in 30 days. So make the most of it over these 30 days. Okay. Make the most of it over the 30 days. Go through as much as you can over the 30 days. Okay. The class begin. You can start now. Officially, it starts on Saturday, but you can start now if you're watching this, and uh, you have 30 days to go through it. Okay, um, and then and then uh, understand the pre-workshop homework page. That that page there, it is available at any time. So that doesn't go away. After the 30 days, so I'll write down after. After the 30 days, you still have the pre-workshop homework, which has the terms, the flashcards and the uh, the practice uh, tests. So honestly, after the 30 days, you should be done with the, the recordings and you should be on to the terms, flashcards, practice exams, okay? All right, Chris, well, I'm ready to begin. All right then. So then you're gonna start team. You're gonna go here and you're gonna go to that first video in this set. You've already accomplished uh, the intro. So now you're gonna go to phonological and phonemic awareness. You're going to press on that and you're going, you're, or you'll press on this video here and you're going to start with the first major video, which is going to look something like this, right? Okay. I will see you in this intro video to phonological awareness. See you soon, team.